person who be tripping every time they wear crocs every time i wear crocs i trip on my own feet but i'm walking in marshall's mainly because i gotta use the bathroom and i know there's no good bathroom in dollar tree so but i am gonna be nosy too and see what they might have as far as like travel stuff So I'm currently watching All American. I forgot to show y'all my nails and stuff. So I'm gonna show y'all my nails and then um, I'm gonna finish packing. You can kind of see I'm a little bit better. I'm gonna put it in front of the black, you can see better. But I just got something like natural. Yeah. Y'all see this? A mess. About a hundred fifty racks going in and out the city. Ass fat, but the attitude ain't pretty. I buy you Prada, then you go and start your bullshit. Argue till we fuck, you know this shit is toxic. Fuck if I didn't seem like that's the only option. We got, I'ma flip you over, shut you up at that sweet spot. Oh, and if you wonder if I hate you. Just like this What I would do to make you feel just like this If you wanted it If I hate you Fuck you Shitty of you to make me feel just like this What I would do to make you Okay guys, so this is day one of me going to London I really cannot believe that I actually went to the UK um, it was actually on my vision board, y'all. When I got home, I, I realized it. Or maybe b before I left, I realized it. But London was just overall a really different experience. Riding on a different side of the road and just everything. But this is when I was at the airport um, at the UK border and all of that. Um, when we got to West London, which is where I was. For the most part, um, the Airbnb was really nice. Um they definitely live different like they don't even have outlets in the bathroom like that's crazy to me where do y'all do y'all hair but we went to tk maxx we went to home sense um where else did we go a few places we went to like a little bodega type place um in london they have bodegas i swear london reminds me so much of new york it's crazy but um i also went to primark i finally got to go to primark and y'all, Primark is basically like a big version of um, H&M in a way. So it's basically like H&M with home decor as well. Which literally is like H&M because H&M has H&M home now. I've just never been. And they actually had one in London. I didn't get a chance to go. But they had one overall. Primark, 10 out of 10. They had so much different stuff in there. They had like... As you can see, the Wolford um, dupe of the body suits and stuff like that. Um, I got a few things out of there, but I didn't get much because, y'all, my bag is already full coming to the UK. So, I didn't want to overdo it and, you know, not be able to fit all my stuff back in my bag to come home. So, um, that was pretty much day one. Now, day two was even more chill. We basically just went out to eat we went to this little nice italian restaurant the food was really good it's like um a couple owned restaurant the drink was good the food was good i got like this cheese pizza as you can see and i got pasta which was good as well it was just really spicy but that's pretty much all we did for that day now day three was when we finally went to the city 
of London, okay? And I just had the time of my life. Like, the scenery of London and just, like, their infrastructure and everything is just so different. Ugh, I loved it. I really did love it. Um, I definitely had to get me some pictures. We went to this really cute restaurant. Um, it was called Spaghetti House. You guys will see it in a minute. Um, we actually went there after we left the Louis Vuitton store. Y'all, I was everywhere that day. Everywhere. But this is the Spaghetti House restaurant that I was talking about. Um, their food was pretty good as well. I would give them an 8 out of 10. Um, love the aesthetic. I had the salmon Caesar salad. Nothing special, which I didn't think it would be. Um, and then we went to Zara H&M. And then that was it for that day, pretty much. Okay, so London, day four and day five were pretty short. So um, we basically just went back to the city, I guess. And went to this really nice museum. It was really cute. I got some really cute pictures. Um, this day, I actually went to a Shein pop-up shop that they had. We came across it and um they didn't really have anything there that i wanted so i didn't get anything but it was cute very much cute love the balloons and then um got starbucks and basically that was the end of that day um did a little bit of shopping but nothing really crazy the aesthetic of that barbary though so nice it was the biggest one in the world um so after we left burberry um, I think we went and got dinner or something like that, but we went back to that same Italian restaurant, which is why I didn't show it again. Um, this was like the little, I guess, Chinatown of London in the city. So cute. But, um, for day five, we honestly didn't even leave the Airbnb until like later on that night. And, um, we ended up going to this really nice rooftop place y'all it was at a hotel so we had to go back to the city <laughs> how can we pretty much kept going to the city to do stuff but it was at the hoxton i think that's how you pronounce the hotel but it's called seabird and it's on the rooftop y'all the food was so good the aesthetics the restaurant was so nice the hotel was nice i was like ooh, whoever's staying here i know they're having a good time because they can literally go up to the rooftop and get fire food, right? Um, so we ended up getting, I guess it was like lobster rice, but it tasted more like a risotto to me. And we got prawns and we got um, a stew. It was just really good. The food is really good there. Um, food in London is just different. I do prefer American food. I can't lie, but the food there was pretty good too loved the scenery from the rooftop so cute and that was it for that day now i didn't do anything for day six because that was when the queen's funeral was but day seven y'all we got back to it so we went and um basically walking through like i don't want to call it a forest because it's not a forest but it was like a park um and they just had you know like ponds and lakes and just really nice outdoorsy scenery and this was right before we went to this really adventurous place y'all where i did something i thought i would never do okay i'm down to do you know fun stuff but outdoorsy fun stuff isn't really my thing but i really did enjoy my time here i don't remember what the place was called but basically you could ride segways um zip line and stuff like that I didn't zip line, but y'all gonna see me. I was on the Segway. Okay, so we're out here in some like outdoorsy park situation. Got me a slushy. It's my first time really vlogging since I've been here. I have like three days left. Today is Tuesday. I have Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll leave Friday. But y'all will have seen all the different clips and stuff that I've done, so. But yeah, I didn't have no business smacking on that slushy like that. Okay, I'm so sorry. So as y'all can see, I had to get me a slushy. But um, this is where you go in order to sign like the waiver and stuff to do the segways, y'all. The segways were basically like big hoverboards. 
um and i've never been able to ride a hoverboard so i was kind of scared but once i got the hang of it i was flying on this thing so i almost fell off one time but it was so fun it looks like i'm going really slow which i kind of was so i was trying to make sure she could get a video of me now day eight we went to um we did like some sightseeing we went back to the city of course and this day we went to the victoria and albert museum hey y'all so today is the 11th can i just say i don't know what was wrong with me it was actually the 21st i don't know and i'm currently at a museum I'm about to go in um i'm not sure which one this is but we'll see when we get in Today I did my makeup with everything except foundation. I think it looks cute though. And I have on this turquoise head that I got from Nordstrom Rack. This white top from H&M. JCPenney jeans. My bag is from Wholesale 7. And then my shoes are Marnie. So I'm color blocking today. These steps are really cute. I love their infrastructure. So, nice. So day eight was pretty much our last real day of doing stuff in a way. So um, we came to the Albert and, well, it's Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, it was really nice. I really liked the way that it was set up. They had a bunch of different like eras, I guess they're not eras. Well, yeah, eras in um, I guess different places. So they had clothing just different things from different places y'all they had stuff from japan and africa um i got me some cute pictures they had like a cute little cafeteria y'all the soda in london is very flat and it's sugar-free <laughs> oh my god y'all it tastes because i wanted to taste it and like taste different sodas from there just to see like if there was a difference y'all there's a big difference. They don't give you ice in, their, in your water either. So I kept having to ask for ice. But y'all, this little mall was so cute. All the different sorts they had. So nice. Their, I guess, food court. Oh my God. Pure luxury. I was like, oh my God, I could live here and come here every single day just to look at it. They had a freaking butcher shop inside of their um, food court. They had a charcuterie place, so many different places where you could get food, salad bars, lobster rolls, y'all, y'all. It was just so nice. I couldn't believe it. But we ended up leaving there and going to this restaurant called Burger and Lobster. So good. The best lobster roll I've ever had in my life. And it wasn't even warm. It was chilled. I would go back to London just to get this lobster roll. That's how good it was that's literally how good it was but um that's pretty much all we did for day eight um we went to zara and stuff but this was the last day of being in london it was the travel day coming back to atlanta by this time i was so ready to come home because y'all i like sleeping in my bed i don't know what it is but this is us on our way to heathrow London got that heat though. My jet landed heat throw. Yeah, I had to say that, but I love their airport. It's so nice. It's almost like a mall. Um, I pretty much just went looking for something to bring home for my mom. I already had stuff to bring home from like my siblings and stuff. Um, but I ended up getting her the Van Cleef perfume. Y'all, it smells so good. And of course, I had to get me a quick little snack to get on the airport. Well, oh my God, I can't to get on the airplane. <laughs> I need to give me something to eat to get on the airplane because the airplane food was okay, but not really, y'all. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I really had a good time. I give London um an 8 out of 10. Well, no, I give it an eight and a half out of ten. The only reason why I wouldn't give it a ten is because y'all, they pretty much walk, ride the bus, ride the train, and ride the tube. I'm not used to that coming from the states. I'm used to getting in my car and going somewhere and coming back in my car. 
it's too much having to get off the train, get back on the train, get off, get back on. But yeah, um, London was pretty much one of the best best experiences I've experienced. Love it. Definitely will be going back. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this vlog. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.